What's up guys, so I have not posted in a while and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be custom painting some baits. I've been actually trying all this week with a custom bait that I actually painted and it's like a shad imitation and the shad spawn's been on so I've been going down to the lake and trying to get a fish but unfortunately I haven't been doing much fishing because I've had other stuff that I've been having to do so that's why shortage on videos but today I'm doing some custom lures and I think y'all are gonna enjoy. I'm gonna explain it, then it's just gonna be like an elapsed time that's gonna show you guys how I actually did it, and it's pretty cool. Here, I'll show you guys some of the baits I've already painted. <laughs> So that is some of the baits I have already painted. You saw the crawfish pattern, you saw the shad color. Now to how you actually make one. So for the first thing you need is an airbrush. Looks sorta of like that. They're like 200, like the expensive ones are 200. I don't really know how much these are. My dad gets them from work. But you need a motor for that too. But it'll come with it probably, I don't know. But it's probably like Hobby Lobby or something, or like a craft store will have an airbrush. Then you need an epoxy when you're done. You gotta have that epoxy for a hard coat so your paint just doesn't come off. And you need paints, obviously. So like your, I have a lot of colors. You got your blacks, whites, your like chartreuses, reds, just to, you need like a, like a silver metallic and like a goldish color. So you really get that professional look. It'll take you a while to get good. And here's like a few of my started out baits. Like that one. Not much detail, but they still look really cool. And I just like making your own little bait. So that is how you make one. So now I'm actually gonna show you like the steps of actually painting it. That's what you need, excuse me. That's what you need. Now I'll show you actually how to how to make one with the with the airbrush and epoxy and all that. So Let's get started. So that is the bait I made. It's like a weird little crappie looking thing. 
I don't really know. I was just experimenting to show y'all what I actually do. But I came out here in the sunlight to actually show you guys how good it looked. I haven't put the epoxy on yet, but all you do is just put a two-tone epoxy on there. It looks really nice. I added the little eyeballs. You just get out like Cabela's or Bass Pro in the fly tying section. And boom. Just cut out a stencil. Made those dots with just a black color. And that was a really simple bait to make. And it turned out really nice. Looks pretty cool. So, I was just experimenting, guys, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button if you guys want to see more of this, and hit the subscribe button so you see more fishing. Hopefully, I can get out on the water soon. I don't know, maybe this weekend. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again on Pro Bro Outdoors. See ya.